Ladies and gentlemen, Lemur Music is very pleased to present to you this old flatback bass. It's a large bass with a sound that is just fabulous. I can picture a, a, a jazz instrument that's primarily a studio instrument, too big to travel around with, or an orchestra instrument just the same. Uh, so you'll see through the course of this video what a wonderful bass this is. Um, we know a little bit about the history of it. Uh, uh, a man that is our customer living in this area here look, took one look at it and he says, I remember that bass. About 30 years ago, he was sent down to San Diego to pick it up. It was purchased at that point and brought to Los Angeles. And this bass has spent a generation as a studio player's instrument in Los Angeles. So I don't know much about the types of recordings that were uh, on which this bass appeared, but um, somebody was able to make a living with it, that's for sure. Now that it's been become available again, uh, the instrument has been gone through in every detail for restoration. Uh, looking, tightening up the tuning machines. We have a machine shop here at Lemur Music. We were able to go through those details. Uh, varnish touch-up was done uh, and certainly set up. The health of the instrument at this time is, well, exceptional. Perfect is a hard word to use, but it's very, very good. I would like to um, show you a couple of details about the instrument. I think you can see its size, you can see its gamba shape. And um, if I go up to the top of the instrument, I want you to check out these tuning machines. Something unusual. These uh, brass keys are probably cast and they go up to this point here where they join with the iron uh, worm gear. And then you see these um, crown gears on this uh, beautiful plate. It's fitted with uh, a Stenholm extension machine. Though we make these extension machines here, this one was made quite a bit earlier, I don't know exactly when, by Stenholm himself, and has been on the base for quite some time. The dimensions of this instrument are important to talk about because make no mistake about it, it's a big bass. The string length of this instrument is 42 and a half, the vibrating string length. Not too bad. Uh, in order to accomplish that, however, this, uh, this nut has been extended. Uh, beautiful work by Lisa Goss at LA Bass Works. And um, to make sure that the D-neck is really just right, the bridge was moved upward less than a centimeter. I, I looked at over five or six millimeters. That's all it took to keep the mensure, to keep the ratios, the proportions just right. Then, let me show you this. I'd say, look out. This upper bout is over 22 inches. 22 and I'll say a fourth. And then, um, you know, getting the tape measure to, to uh, hook on the side here, I'm not going to do that, but uh, we measured 28 inches even across the bottom. So a big base th uh, from that standpoint. And then check out these ribs. This is almost nine inches, eight and eh, three quarters or a tiny bit more. Then what's interesting, so many flat backs, and this is a flat back construction, they um, find a way to reduce this dimension up here by the heel. It certainly makes the base more playable. Most commonly, from the inside, there is a kerf, a saw cut made across the inside so that the back will bend. And so you see a construction with a kind of an angular bend about here. This base is not made exactly that way. I'd say it's a little more sophisticated because the back is bent forward without the kerf. And, and we get down to a dimension up here of I'm seeing six and a half at the bottom of the button. So that helps the instrument to lie close to your body and makes it much easier to reach around. So let's listen to Chris play some Arco passages on the bass 
And um, I know you'll hear the power, the depth, and the, the stunning mid-range clarity that goes along with that on this big bass. Not there, but I'll try to do better with that. Everybody wants to hear that one. I, I do that, that one that, almost that every day. Yeah. That's how I want that note to sound. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas just have to give it a little bit of extra emphasis with that, with that extension string. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have been as impressed as we are with the quality and the sound of this bass. This is a professional's instrument. As a pizzicato instrument, the sound is just unparalleled and will make a wonderful studio bass for a career and for a lifetime. And as an orchestra instrument, it is big enough to really do the job and will be a pleasure and, and an outstanding instrument, I'm sure, in any section. Thank you very much.